in the same way that brewers use yeast to convert sugar into alcohol to make beer and wine, yeast can also be used to convert sugar into proteins or sugar into lipids. Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be making an omelet with the Zero Acre Cultured Oil. This company is using sugarcane to make their oil. This oil is a very, very high smoke point, um, higher than any other oil you can buy. And so for that reason, I like them for cooking, making steaks, that kind of thing. I don't know the science behind this, but they claim at least that their oil is healthier than other oils. You can do your own research on that one. Let's check this one out. The first one we're going to use the zero acre cultured oil. And then we're going to use an olive oil. This one is one you get at Costco. And then finally, I'm going to use a just a butter. First, we have to use eggs. I gen, you know, I'm trying to decide what to do. Generally, I don't put milk in my eggs to fluff them up because I do like an eggy taste. I'm just thinking in terms of like volume of egg to ingredients here. Yeah, we're just gonna use the eggs. So I'll throw a little bit of pepper in here and then we'll start cooking the back bacon. Okay, turning this on. Excuse the fan noise, I need it on because um, we have gas. <laughs> I need to ventilate the area. So the first bit of oil, that might be too much. Okay, I've emptied some of that out, that was too much. All right, and then we take our back bacon. And we'll pick that up. Once that's sizzling, we're gonna flip it put the eggs in, then we'll start cooking our omelet. All right, our bacon should be good. I'm just gonna flip that over. Mm, look, perfect. Get a bit of that, more of that oil in there. I'm just gonna oil the pan again, and then we'll put our eggs in. All right, so now we'll put our eggs in there. Throw some broccoli and then some cheese. I should have put the cheese in first, but that's okay. Alright, now let's let that cook up and then we'll flip it once the egg's done and we'll have ourselves our first omelette. Alright, I think that's looking pretty good. Let's flip that over. Ooh, I messed that one up. Should use the spatula. Oh well. Right, so we're just gonna eat these omelets as they come off the stove. It's gonna taste a lot better that way. And so I'll eat one, cook one, and yeah, we'll try and do a test here. This is interesting. You know, I'm gonna eat them all. I'm gonna make them all, I'm gonna eat them all, and then I'll give you my review. All right, so we've washed and cleaned our pan. Now we're gonna throw some olive oil in there, cook our back bacon, and do the same process. Have a much nicer omelet this time around. I'm going to have a taste here. All right, third omelet. So again, we've washed and dried the pan. Let's throw in our butter. <laughs>
final omelet. So we tried the three omelets with the three different oils. The first one was the zero acre cultured oil. Then we had a regular olive oil. Then we had a butter, finally. And yeah, very interesting. So I think two points. First one is the flavor profile of the cultured oil is basically non-existent. And what that means is that the flavors of the food come through so much stronger than with the olive oil or the butter. Now, I guess it depends a bit what you like because in some way, like the oil flavor of the butter or the olive oil is stronger. And so that gives the dish some extra flavor as well. Like probably in the end of the day, it depends what you like. But what I really liked about the zero acre cultured oil is that I couldn't taste any oil at all. It was just my back bacon, eggs, and broccoli and cheese. And it was really, really good. And that was something I've never experienced before in a fried product. The other thing I noticed is that, like it's a very, the cultured oil is a very light oil, but also the, both in taste, but also in just how it makes me feel. Normally when I eat eggs, I'll have three eggs, three pieces of back bacon. And so splitting them up in this way was actually the regular amount I would usually eat. I've noticed after each of the dishes that I feel slightly differently. And I think the, I'll have to do some more tests, but the cultured oil it doesn't feel heavy. So now after having, especially after having eaten the one with butter, I feel heavy and just like I'm full like normally, but I'm also slightly like, I feel like I've eaten fried foods and you know, when you've eaten fried food, you feel slightly uncomfortable, just like, uh, I've eaten something slightly unhealthy. And I didn't get that feeling at all with the cultured oil. So that's really interesting. And that I wonder if that plays into some of their health marketing that they're doing. I want to try and look more into that. But yeah, those are my two thoughts. I'm gonna keep using the cultured oil for different dishes. It's quite expensive, so I don't think it's going to replace these other fats anytime soon. But if they can improve the technology, reduce their costs, grow the business, I'm sure over time those costs will come down. If you do want to try it, links in the description. And this one is a affiliate link, so I will get something from that. Again, I'm Chris. This is Space Foods. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.